And I want you all to know, he's wearing the Looney Tunes swag today because he is shouting out Austin, who also wore ridiculous t-shirts back in his heyday. He can come back anytime and win the tournament. I guarantee it. We're just hoping he never does. <laughs> we want to see him. We don't want him to come back and win. But at the same time, we've all forgotten the Ness matchup because Beasley stopped playing him. So... Enderman. Mixed bag. All right. Going straight into the Enderman, DJ Don. He's come back with the full swag. Look at the bow tie along with the, what do you call those? They're like trilbies? The trilby bow tie combo. He is looking fresh to death like a whole Walmart grocery aisle. Goddamn. All right, so Terry as expected, Steve as expected, but will the result be as expected? As far as scene is concerned, I'm pretty sure DJ Don takes the cake. He won Shockwave. He's won Odyssey multiple times. Eidos is always top eighting the two of them. But the question is, will he win one? I'm always vying for it because he is the closest there is to being PR that isn't PR. Mostly due to a lack of attendance, I think. I see him like every now and then, and he always does work. Ooh, okay. Whoa, he actually hit the gall that challenged that. And for those of you that are unaware, I actually remember, I think he got to like, I think it was like winners or losers finals against Yanni, and he got to game five, and he almost beat him. It was really close. Ooh, the power of all things. The very tipper hitbox at the top of Power Geyser. No part of that geyser is safe. Stay clear, put up some signs. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, okay, and the combo begins, as we all know. There's an SDI multiplier on that, however, and Edo takes full advantage, only taking 39%, until, of course, the follow-up string leads him to 66. Oh, and he texts it, the first to ever do it in DFW, honestly. Jesus, I'm glad to see somebody does it. All right, the go meter is in play, but can you even get up with TNT? He can! He shielded it, and he was even ready for the follow-up there. He rolled immediately to make sure it didn't follow up, but DJ Don is on his trail. He's after his Achilles heel with a pair of scissors right now. He's not letting up. Okay, 85. One power guys are ought to do it. I think he did do it there. It was either that or Buster Wolf. Are you okay? As far as, oh, he's not okay, folks. That is one stock down and one diamond up for DJ Don. Okay, going for the fishing rod. Getting a down throw at 0% is a guaranteed like 50%. So good thing he stayed out of the range of that. 62%. Two carts. He did him twice in a row. How many minecarts you got? He's got one iron and two iron. That's two minecarts. It should be more expensive. All right. So Edos had literally no choice there. He had no jump, no mix of options. He tried to air dodge to ledge, but DJ Don with the clutch block in his path, guaranteeing that stock. Crazy stuff, honestly. I cannot get over DJ Don. The first time that he showed up here, he actually was wearing very similar clothing. He had the Trilby on and everything. He showed up. He played Kazuya and Steve, and we were all terrified. And we continue to be. The terror never left, and neither did the reign of DJ Don. I get the feeling that this kid's probably going to be top of the PR charts either this game or next game. He's already guaranteed PR for next season, I bet. I bet. But it's pretty early in the quarter. Keep in mind, it is a, uh, what is it, quarterly thing, so that's once every three months. I think he's got a good chance. But Eidos, all of a sudden, going with the, pa the counter pick? The Eidos Sephiroth? The Ada Sephiroth? Oh my god. I'm excited to see this, so. Um, a lot of people like to go Sephiroth against Steve. One, because um, a lot of characters that can outspace Steve do really well. For instance, uh, we saw Tizpie actually beat DJ Don last week with uh, Ike. Ike of all characters, because he just had a bigger sword. His sword's bigger than Steve's. Bigger than Steve's pickaxe back air. You don't even need to worry about that being a factor anymore as Sephiroth or Ike or any other such character. And um, I think most of the reason that people will pick Sephiroth, like the amateurish reason, is going to be that they uh, have that really powerful counter. That one that he just died with, you know, the one. <laughs> but um, it's the perfect answer to Minecart because if you counter Minecart with that thing, he dies at like 12 if you're in the right position. It's absolutely bonkers the knockback multiplier on that thing. Incineroar levels of ludicrosity. Okay, so. The forward throw with the attempt to get him to tech the block, but unfortunately the angle was not auspicious, or DJ Don's DI was just too good. Okay. We love the experimentation, but so far, not working out as a counter pick. I think Terry was doing much better. However, Eidos just needs a little time to adjust. 
This is probably the first game of Sephiroth he's played all day. Bear in mind. Oh, and that's that, like I said. But if DJ Don hops out of the minecart, he does eat a lot less damage and knockback from the counter. However, Ado's stewing that stock. And at this point, he has the wing. His comeback factor is in play. DLC 2 is activated. Okay, that forward throw actually did get him to tech that time, and he spot dodges. Nobody navigates minecart quite as well as Ados, let me tell you. Ooh, gets that down smash, too. Okay, keeping him at bay. He's spacing really well now, and he used the armor on purpose. Okay, makes him tech it, makes him tech it. However, he just gets countered because he just tech jumped into the back air. You got to keep that in mind, and the block vanished just in time to clear the way for Sephiroth's end. So no wing anymore, but he should be getting that here in the next, like, 10%, 20%. Okay, maybe not even that. Wow. Some comeback factor that is. Bring back the go meter. Oh, no, and he down air miss inputs and ends it in the most flashy way possible. <laughs> Honestly, Aerith is waiting down there somewhere. He saw an unpierced torso and just had to go down. That was just the best of three, right? Yep. So Eidos goes out in catastrophic fashion, but you know what? I like the attempt at the Sephiroth, because it was winners. And now you can warm up the Sephiroth in the case that he does meet DJ Dawn.